So in this problem, we need to be able to find the area of the square. And we have one length. The problem is the length is going to be a diagonal. So how are we going to find the area of the square? Well, the first thing, we need to find out the lengths of the square, right? Because if we had a square of anything, right, and we know that the one length is just going to be x, we know all the other lengths are also going to be x, right? So the area is, we know it's going to be, you know, base times height, but since they're all the same, we can just say it's going to be a x squared. But in this problem, we don't have that. We have a diagonal. And that diagonal is going to be a 2 square root of 2. Now, when I draw the diagonal, though, what did we just create? We created a right triangle, right? And the right triangle is kind of very important because if we know the two side lengths of our legs of a right triangle and we're given the hypotenuse, we can also write another relationship, which is the Pythagorean theorem. Now, in this case, though, we know c squared, that's our hypotenuse, that's going to be a 2 squared of 2, and we know our two legs are actually both x, right? So now I can rewrite this, x squared plus x squared is equal to a 2 squared of 2 quantity squared. x squared plus x squared is going to be a 2 x squared, and 2 squared of 2 times 2 squared of 2 is going to be a 4 times 2, which is going to give me an 8. Now, all I simply need to do is go ahead and solve, so I can divide by 2 on both sides, and therefore I get a x squared is equal to a 4, take the square root of both sides, and what you're going to get is a x is going to equal a plus or minus a 2. However, ladies and gentlemen, we're dealing with the dimensions of a square, right? So 2, a negative 2, does not really make any sense, right? So we're going to focus here on x is equaling 2. So not the negative version, because that doesn't make sense in, for in this drawing. So now to find the area of the triangle, we know that the area is just going to be, sorry, I kind of wrote that, is your base times height, which again, they're exactly the same. 2 times 2 is going to give us 4, which is your answer, D.